Today I'm going to be talking about gauges for an air conditioning system. Here on the top, these are our gauges attached to this manifold. Here, this is our high side manifold valve, and this is the low side. Here on the back, this port doesn't go anywhere. The manifold only connects to this port, this port, and this port, nothing out the back. When they are turned off, it will not go into the rest of the manifold. It will still allow the pressure to be read up here in the gauge. So the purpose of these valves is to allow access to this center port. This yellow hose is going to be connected to a vacuum pump or a refrigerant cylinder. Now let's move on to what all these numbers are about. You can see how we have numbers are on the outside and that corresponds to PSIG. When we connect our gauges to the system, it's gonna tell us what pressure is in the system. This center ring right here is orange and it is marked for R404A. The middle ring, which is pink, is marked for R410A. The next ring is this green one right here and that is for R22. Technically, we wouldn't need any of this information because you can look up pressure temperature charts for different types of refrigerants. Over here on the high side, it's exactly the same thing. The pressure is just going up higher. We're gonna go ahead and connect it to this system. Make sure that both of these valves are closed. The system is currently off. There we've got a reading. Now we'll go ahead and connect our high side hose. So we have our gauges connected now and it's showing us the pressures inside of the system. And after you're done, make sure that you reattach them so that dirt and moisture doesn't get into the actual hoses. Just being honest here guys, a lot of times you don't wear gloves for this, so you just need to be aware of this. 